but Silver Surfer sucks. Hey, Pop Culture Overloaders, it's Jason the X, and got some reviews coming up. These guys just started showing up at Toys R Us. Yes, we are starting to get some deluxe first edition love here in the States. And of course, uh, well, I already have them. Uh, I can't wait for the Voyagers to come out, but I did pick up a Terracon Cliff Jumper and another Viacon. I'm just going to have two of each now. So, anyway, yes, uh, this is Terracon Cliff Jumper. We didn't get them. I love this guy. I was concerned, though. We still haven't gotten a regular Cliff Jumper, and that's a little distressing, but I do have this one, so. Screw him over to the side. That was a drift, if you couldn't see. Anyway, so yeah, we got uh, Terracon Clifford Jumper's package, that nice first edition design. There he is in all of his rust in peace glory. And of course, it's got the base in there. I just don't really need to take that out or, you know, mess with it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but yeah, you got the first edition here, Viacon. Bumblebee, I have not seen any Bumblebees in this wave, which you know, makes me pretty happy. So, <laughs> but it is good that we're getting these guys. Finally, the Voyager should be out. I also picked up the entertainment pack. That video will be coming here shortly. But anyway, yeah, this is Terracon Cliff Jumper. He uses a muscle car with some damage here. Uh, these parts on top, they're actually translucent plastic. Um, because the windows were translucent, so they just put the paint over here. But they left these parts clear, you can kind of see in, in them, and this becomes his chest as well. So, you know, the damage, I kind of wish they had kept with the look that was on the package, or this was the hole that Starscream made through him, but they didn't. You got a little damage over here, too. Got that nice Autobot emblem right there. And uh, not much change. There are some paint changes between this one and the regular cliff jumper, which I'll show you right now. And the, you see the windows on here, this one are purple, and these are blue. Yeah, a little bit more paint down here. Uh, you still got the Autobot symbols on each side. And not much difference in the front. Although I will say, these horns on here, oh, wait a minute, now that might just be mine. Now they're, they're kind of sitting more forward, and if you look, this tab is just a little bit further up right there than this one is so I don't know that's I think that's just an error on my part of course uh, his rims are painted his are not but otherwise no real changes uh, just everything I've noted anyway transformation is still the same I'll have to transform them both so uh, I'm gonna take cliff jumper here and I'll be right back with the other cliff jumper transformed Okay, we're back. Before we get to the transformation, uh, I want to do a little comparison. Here he is with a standard Viacon. So you can get an idea of the size. Of course, this is our ID. This is the um, first edition. So I just want to get that comparison shot in there. Now, for the transformation, I'm going to take the side panels, bring them all the way out. And it's the same exact transformation as the regular cliff jumper. Um, I like to pull these apart, but then get these tabs right here. Pull them in. Go ahead and tilt that back. Just makes it a little bit easier. Get the legs, flip them down. We've all seen this transformation. Hopefully you went out and got yourself some first edition figures. Bring the feet down. Push these together. They do give a little click when you bring them in. And there you go. Bring his belt buckle down. I like to call it a belt buckle. Take the trunk and put it flush up against the back here. Pull the arms down. I'm kind of doing this a little bit weird, but you want to tilt that back, turn it around, bring his arms down. And I'll tell you, the joints on these guys are really stiff. Well, on this particular one. At least up here on the shoulders, they are really stiff. And when you bring his arms around, uh, take these panels and close them up. Bring 
bring the belt buckle up and it'll help separate these windows. I like to tilt these, I see a lot of people doing different things, well, I like to just fold them and let that separate them. And here's the head, you want to just bring that up and there's a little tab in back that goes to this trunk piece, push it up. And bring these wheels forward and there you go. And there we have Terracon Cliff Jumper. And like I said, he is pretty much the same, but he does have these clear windows right here. Um, of course, the purple, you know, we already discussed all that. But he does have this, this new head mold, which you know, is very scary looking. He's got an eye that's pitted out there, and he's got a crack in his, well, well, that's where his, that line for his face is, but it looks like it's gotten bigger. He's got some scarring on the face. Too close. And, of course, one horn broken. I like how they do that there. And these are still the same rubbery horns. Even this little stump piece is still that same rubber. And you can see through his chest. I think that's pretty cool. Couldn't really see that in the robot mode that much. Um, quick comparison with the standard cliff jumper and you can see you know there you go same differences we saw but yeah there's your standard cliff jumper uh, and uh here's a comparison with the RID Viacon so yeah not bad I like this guy I'm a completionist I'm glad we could I could find him uh, same articulation got it here this kind of ball joint here, got the bend at the knee, you got that other wheel back here, I don't know why. Uh, you got ball jointed hips, get partial rotation out of there, no waist articulation. Uh, his head's on a pretty nice ball joint. And these are on ball joints, as I said, they are really stiff and if you look, they've actually got a little bit of stressing. I don't know if it's coming through, but there is a little bit of a stress mark right there on each shoulder and they because they are really tight i mean i mean they might lose stuff over time i guess uh i don't think anything's in danger of breaking but yeah there is a stress mark there and he does have his double jointed elbows and of course if you flip this out on both hands you can get the oh you got to tilt his hand rotate his hand like that so you can flip it around get his tri-barrel blaster I love the hand cannons on this, this clip jumper. I love these hand cannons. Get it? You see what I did there? Hand cannon? Ah, uh, 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 what do you know about humor? Anyway, so yeah, that is the uh, Terracon Cliff Jumper. Happy to get this guy. I got some other first edition reviews to show you. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X, and I'll catch you later.